Hello, people of God. You are welcome to Kingdom Salmon TV. We are independent people. We share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman, in order to help to build the body of Christ. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. Please lift your hands to heaven. Just worship him. Bless him in the spirit. Bless him without distraction. Holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, you are holy. multi-breasted one, King of kings and Lord of lords, Alpha, Omega, Omega, the lifter of man. Waymaker, life giver, restorer. Are you worshiping him? Hebron Dakatus Yata, you are mighty. Go healer, he manifests as healer. If you call him Rafa, he will come as Rafa. You call him Chire, he will come as Chire. Shibran Degede Barakatusia. Are you blessing him? Don't be distracted inside, outside. And you are glorious. So glorious in your way. You are powerful. So powerful in your way. You are mighty. So mighty in your way. You are mighty God. So mighty in your way. Sing you are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. But you can be dangerous, so dangerous in your ways. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh, glorious 
and everything can happen. Take your eyes away from the pains, the burdens, and focus on Jesus. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Lord of Lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. Go ahead and press into him. King of kings, Lord of Lords, you are faithful and true, Lamb of God. Oh, there is no deception in him. You're the King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. The Lamb of God, I worship you. Lamb of God. Majesty, the healer, the lifter, the blesser, the changer, the restorer. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. He man de barakos kadi balakos sada brandi kadi balada barya kata kadi brandi kadi balada barya kata. Who is this King of Love? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Mighty power, 
His grace, His anointing, His wisdom. Not without worship. Not without invoking His presence in total surrender. You came to church. We worship you. Hallelujah. This is your house. Your Building, I'm talking about your life. I am your house. I'm your Lord. I welcome you. Lord, I welcome you. I am your house. Your Lord. I welcome you. Tell you the power of God is so strong in this place. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty. Adonai, we thank you. We worship the Lamb of God. We worship the Lord of glory. Who can heal but you? Who can lift but you? Who can anoint, who can exalt but you? Go ahead. 
head and worship him this time. And I leave my boat to worship you, oh my soul, wait on Take joy, my King, in what you give. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your need. Find your own song, find your own words. Let him hear you tonight. Let him hear you worship tonight. Some of you, this is a night of surrender for you. Some of you, this is a night where you take all the luggages and all the loads and just lay it down. You're not wasting your time. The moments invested in worship will translate into impartations, into liftings. It's for you, Lord Jesus. Take my life, take every burden, take every pain. My God, I sense such an intense presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. It's a call to worship. Many of you, even in this atmosphere, you will find out that miracles are already happening. That faith is rising from within your spirit. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. The superiority of His way. Whoever knew that a shout could bring a fenced city down. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way. Whoever knew that a rod could part the Red Sea, Gita and Gita, and allow God's people to walk through. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Whoever knew that prayer and singing aloud could save Paul and Silas that all doors can open not at the instance of physical strength but prayer and praise for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way of the Lord I believe that many of us here under this intense atmosphere are receiving all kinds of impartations. Some of you are ministers. The Lord is calling you to deeper dimensions of power. You cannot serve His purposes in the end time this way. You need a fresh engracing. I felt my life breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. I thank my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. I thank my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. I thank my life, breathe on me. I thank my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. I thank my life. 
to his foe. Hallelujah. Now I'm sensing there is, please listen, there is a very strong anointing in this place right now for creative miracles. Very strong anointing for creative miracles. Whether it is a problem with your body, a problem with your bone, your wheelchair, you're on a crutch, some sort of aid, anything at all, organ failure. I sense very strongly there is this anointing right now. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, inside and outside, you came for a miracle service. Right now, miracles are happening. I'm stretching my hands. Please, when you identify those people, let them check themselves right now. If you check yourself and find out that something is happening to you, I want you to run to the front right now. There are miracles. I'm sensing very strong miracles, creative miracles. Organs that have been missing, some organs that have been removed, are being replaced by the Spirit of the Living God. Supernatural miracles are happening, even by the Spirit of God. Supernatural miracles are happening. And I'm sensing there is a strong anointing for restoration of hearing. There are people who may be deaf completely or partially deaf, deaf in one side of your ears. It doesn't matter where, but in the name of Jesus, I'm declaring healing right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, such a strong, I declare to you by the Spirit of faith, be healed in the name of Jesus. God is doing something marvelous as miracles are happening. Walk, my dear, don't be afraid. Let the power of God touch your limbs right now. Look at me, young lady, look at me. Which of the legs? By the power that raised Christ from the dead, something is happening to you. I'm seeing like fire just passing through you. First, take it easy. Any other person with your crutch or something, just lift it up. Lift it up right now and try walking. Lift it up right now, whether you are inside, whether you are outside, I want you to lift it up in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift it up right now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I'm seeing the vision of a woman who came here with a sick child. There's another wheelchair there, come, walk, come, 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 walk, walk sir. Lift it up, walk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. If there's any other wheelchair, lift it up or, or crutch or whatever, lift it up. In the name of Jesus, there is a woman who came here with a child, a sick child. Your child? What is wrong with the child? Come. How old is your child? Huh? Yeah, four months. What's his name? Her name is Sochine. Oh, her name is the she. Can I pray for her? Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I saw this in my vision and I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. You can even see she had to pull up the clothes of the child. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, come and In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles right now. Please help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, help her by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's a miracle here. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a supernatural miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. While you are seated, you've been standing. I want you to stretch your hands towards this request. Go ahead. You don't have to stand. Stretch your hands towards this request. 
and for those who are yet to submit yes just bring it quickly as we pray I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit I'll give you a few seconds you will be surprised we have a covenant of answered prayers with the God of heaven you have seen it for yourself what God is able to do quickly please when the glory comes there will be no words to say oh, oh, oh. when the glory comes there will be no words to say Go ahead and begin to declare by faith. Father, this is October. By November, I'm receiving every answer. Remember, the scripture that we read. When the glory comes, you know words to say. quickly all right give us Joshua 21 45 this is what is happening to you tonight Joshua 21 45 please dear fail not ought any of this thing give us amplified let's see if we can have amplified very quickly so we pray I truly believe in the covenant of answered prayer dear failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel all came to pass all apostle including the job all including the termination of wicked contracts over your family all someone shout all, all. let the devil hear it all, all. for when his glory comes there be no words to say Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands. We are still praying. Don't be tired. Your life is about to change. Those outside, make sure you are stretching your hands. Our global family, stretch your hands by faith. Yes, we are change. Yesu ya che ya kare Me girma ya che ya kare Sarki ya che ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Yesu ya che ya kare Yesu ya che ya kare Sarki ya che ya kare Me mulki ya che ya kare Yesu ya che ya kare I'm already praying over this Yesu ya che ya kare The long standing issue Yes, we are change the shame and the reproach. Yes, we are change Sarkia change It is finished, Jesus said. It is over. What is over? 
everything that does not reflect the life and the character of Christ what is over shame what is over delay what is over reproach what is over weeping what is over poverty and lack what is over people asking you where is your God what is over the absence of the glory of God in your life what is over terminal diseases therefore I like you to begin to sing that song over this prayer request declare it as a proclamation father it is over reproach is someone declaring I lay these anointed hands upon this request and by the spirit of grace we prophesy it is over 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 by the power of God's grace you know the day that I sang this song first on stage here someone sent me a text by the next day he said he took that song he does not even really know how to speak outside it's not even a Nigerian and he said it just came with such an anointing he sang and danced with it for over three hours by the next day by the next day a contract of what maybe in nigerian naira will be the equivalent of one billion the very next day something he had been pursuing almost forever yes we are kare your spirit is calling the things that must come to an end shame and reproach father fighting mother mother fighting father Agonizing you in your place of work, ministry being limited and would not grow. Sing it from Kenya to America to Europe. It's a prophetic word. I decree and declare over this request for someone I stand by the God of heaven if your eyes can see the Sun rise tomorrow you will also hear of the answers of this request I say it again if your eyes can see the rising of the sun except I be not called of God but may your ears also hear the answers of this listen when prophet Elisha said by this time tomorrow the one who the king leaned on said ah even if God will open the windows of heaven, might this happen? People speak from the standpoint of the authority given to them by God. I told you prophecy does not only reveal, prophecy creates. Let me say it again. For someone it will not reach 24 hours. My God will surprise you.
for someone finally the answer comes tomorrow yes we are kare we're up you know yes we are every dying ministry yes we are kare Every life that has been bent in shame. There is a man of God you are watching. You are sitting on your chair. You are watching from Nairobi. You are about to quit ministry. Because you have done everything you know to be, to do. There are bills. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the Living God. This song, even though you may not be of the Nigerian tongue, but the revelation is clear. It is over and it is finished. Yeah. Apostle, I have four children. Where will their school fees come from? The song carries the answer. I told you this is a song of deliverance. It's a song that you war with when you have understanding. Hallelujah. Now, let me declare over you. Tokwe Sachs came here and he led us through a powerful moment of worship. Minister Dunsin came here and so powerfully pushed us into another realm of worship. These things have prophetic implications. In the atmosphere of worship, the spirit of prophecy is strong. I want to speak over your life please I want you to believe in the power of prophetic speakings because we are made by the excellency of the speakings I taught you last week everybody in Christ and through spiritual understanding is a prophetic rainmaker I taught you last week rainmakers use divination to manipulate the clouds so that a cloud that is barren and should not have rain they begin to coordinate clouds from regions and gather them in one place and make it come. They call them rainmakers. And the believer in Christ, you can use the creative power of God's prophetic speakings to draw forth. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. Don't ask where the sound came from. He said, speak to the breath. The winds, all winds from the four regions of the earth blow and come upon this lane. There are many of us who are alive but it's like we are dead. Because everything that makes for living and dignity is dead in your life. We are about to prophesy resurrection. Just a few minutes but you must receive with all your heart. Koinonia, I pray for you. As touching the grace that God has given in this prophetic season 10 is a number of a cycle coming to an end I decree and prophesy to you by the God of heaven and in the name that is above every other name the rain that has been long overdue let it begin to fall atmosphere Prophesy speed to your life. A strange order of speed. Begin to run like Elijah. Begin to overtake the chariots of Ahab. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometime back someone reached me. And... I saw his text, I'm so-so person. Then I picked, how are you, sir? And he just said, Apostle, I didn't call you for prayer or anything. For three days, God had been speaking to me. And God told me that from today, he wants me to stand and sow this amount of seed to this ministry for as long as my business thrives. 
I said, what is this? Ah, are you sure you want to? Did you discuss this with your wife? Said, ah, I'm not a child. I'm not a this. This is what God has put in my heart. And when that happened, it was not really what he said that was the testimony. I began to pray and I said, Lord, there is a covenant in this house that whatever flows from the head must go down to every part. Listen, when you go to take your bath, your leg does not struggle to touch the shower. It is patient because it knows by connection. You bath your whole body by standing on one position. I said all that to prophesy to you. Strangers will call you. Strangers will reach you. Strangers will look for you. They will tell you they were mandated by God to insist till you rise. Hallelujah. I traveled to a particular nation and I finished preaching, went to bed to sleep. By the next day I got up and then my host calls me and says, Apostle, you are strange. I said, what is wrong? He said, come, let me show you something. We go out and we get to a place and there is a very, very expensive car that was parked. And he said, a man of God drove with this car and said, right here. He said, give it to Apostle. I said, number one, um, how do I carry this car to Nigeria? Number two, um, the way they drive, their direction of driving is not the same with our own. So what? Well, it's none of my business. This is what the man has said. I said, call the man. And we tried to speak to him. You thought he would be sympathetic and say, okay, I'll come and take it. He said, no, leave it there. It's yours. What is on you is what controls what is around you. I'm saying this because there are many things in our lives that have refused to change. I want to prophesy something to come upon your head. He said, my horn has thou exalted like the head of a, the horn of a unicorn. And I have been anointed with fresh oil. Please hear me, Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you the mantle that makes for favor and for lifting. Let it rest on you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. When Minister Dunsin came up, he prayed very powerfully for the grace for intimacy. I want to pray that grace for you. You are lacking seriously spiritually. If you have not obtained the grace he said blessed is the man that god caused to approach you are called like the king had to send for people you don't just come it's a summon by his grace but when he calls you to that inner chamber you will find treasures within the chamber that gives you authority even if you are a gatekeeper like mordecai the moment you enter the inner chamber of the king from there you are climbing the king's horse to a life of dignity and honor let me speak to someone in the name of jesus may your intimacy with the holy spirit the value that comes from his presence from his word from the place of prayer let it translate to an exceptional life of signs and wonders don't be tired i'm praying let me pray over your finances please don't say it does not matter the devil is tying down people and making the matters of finance to interrupt people and not allow people to serve God with integrity and to serve God acceptably. You belong to a family that has been marvelously helped of God. That name Ebenezer is a reality by the message of God. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. By the power that brought the raven to feed Elijah at Brook Cherith, so that he was not without supplies may supernatural supplies begin to attend to your needs in the name of jesus i decree and i declare whoever has been mandated by god to hold your hands in this season and introduce you to the next season of your life i compel them by the spirit to perform their ministry in the name of jesus christ 
i told you that a generation only hears you because the mantle of honor is upon you not just because you are valuable you can be valuable and yet not be heard he says thou shall take joshua in whom is the spirit and he says thou shall lay your hands upon him hallelujah and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall put upon him so that the congregation would hear him it takes honor you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another but when that grace is upon you you will speak and nations will hearken to you i decree and declare that mantle and that grace for honor may it rest visibly upon your life from tonight i stand by the privilege of god's grace alongside the coordinated grace of all the fathers in this nation that god has granted privilege to receive from nothing dies in your hands nothing dies in your hands from today begin to record on ending testimonies testimonies in the morning testimonies in the afternoon testimonies in the night in the name of jesus christ everything you have started but has not finished receive the finisher's anointing for those of you praying for divine direction to know what god wants you to do for the next season of your life in a dream of the night may my god come with accurate answers for you <laughs> hear me if there is any jonah sitting in your boat making you to lose things and you are about to lose your life i throw that jonah out of the boat <laughs> Jesus Christ and everybody who is already in the belly of the fish it looks like it has been concluded about you the same voice that spoke to the fish and informed Jonah out whatever it has swallowed in your life we command it, it must vomit it now finally every point of contact you came here with your hands as a symbol of your productivity your documents whatever it is i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ may the grace for favor rest upon them now please hear me we pray for abuja lord behold your threatenings he said and grant that that signs and wonders be done in the name of your holy son we have a responsibility over this city and over this territory and this nation to responsibly make our spiritual contributions in making for the safety in the name of jesus we release the forces of judgment we command the wind we command the earth in the name of jesus the bible says and the stars fought for deborah we declare by the power of prophecy let the tokens of judgment be released over this city and every conspiracy of darkness that is fighting the purposes of god let it fail permanently now please hear me don't say it does not matter us and uk are not foolish people they will not throw away their reputation just for nothing saying ab about the threat and the rest but can i tell you before god will come to sodom and gomorrah he came to abraham and abraham said if you find 10 people will you still judge them and god said no i don't know about you but i'm here you can count the rest in the name of jesus christ we stand here as prophetic signposts together with all who name the name of christ and we declare the spirit that sponsors evil we command you are banished from our region hallelujah and anyone who has vowed that for as long as he's alive people must die 
I stand by the mantle of judgment. May the earth open and swallow them. And anybody who is profiting from this wickedness, in the name of Jesus, I say it again. That which they eat will be to their death. Therefore, we release angels. The entire six local governments that make up the FCT, we release angels. And we pray for the neighboring regions, Nasarawa State, Benue State, Plateau State, Kaduna State, Niger State, you are fortified. We pray for the law enforcement agents who labor day and night. May God grant them courage and intelligence. But as for you, I declare, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. Please hear me. We pray for everyone connected to this vision. The children, the spouses, the businesses, in the name that is above all names and by the mystery of the fourth man in the fire that says those who the fire had no power over there shall be no loss <laughs> please hear me i want you to walk up around with vigilance but walk with confidence fight fear did you hear what i said fight fear fight fear i'm not stupid the first crisis that happened officially in plateau state i was in the middle of it i was somewhere in town i how many years did we spend in zaria you know how many crises and troubles i've seen the person speaking to you is not stupid and he said they that are with us are greater Please, I want you, this fear that is palpable upon people. Now, of course, I know that, you know, wickedness and rage is there, but I am telling you this, do not fear. You fear you will not go about your activities and you will be poor, you will be broke. It's the spirit, it's not just a spirit of terrorism. It's a spirit that bankrupts people and takes away your productivity. Do your due diligence, work with wisdom, but I assure you, do not fear. Everybody who tries evil in this nation will know that there is a real throne that sits. And there is him that sits, jealously protecting the name of the Lord. For who shall say a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Listen, we are loyal citizens, but we are not fools. There are people who God has granted grace and access. We owe a responsibility. To speak prophetically over the peace of the land it will never be that you went out and then you could not return back to your home because you were in the middle of a crisis if it will happen you will not go there but if you go there then it will not happen people here who have been tied down by all kinds of things some of them have prayed some of them have fasted some of them have done everything they know to do and it looks like it is not going but lord i thank you because you have, you have been given a name that is above every other name above thrones above dominions every name that is named and as your people shout at the count of three i'm going to ask you to shout the name jesus hear me i tell you there is fire burning here as you shout that name inside and outside the power of god is going to rest upon you and everything that is not of the christ must leave your destiny now right now in the name of jesus at the count of three together we will shout that name that is above every other name and every wall of jericho must go down are you ready one two three shout jesus now every stranger, every foul spirit, go now, come out of their destinies now, in the name of Jesus.
Please bring them out very quickly. I decree and declare, lose them now and let them go. Lose their destinies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lose them now and let them go in the name of Jesus. We are still praying. There are families that have been tied down that nothing good will come out of you. Right now I decree and declare I'm seeing at least 21 people belonging to this case by the power that raised Christ from the dead. One more time you will shout Jesus. May that fire rest upon you. Every altar that is speaking against your family that you will not rise, that you will not shine. It is destroyed right now. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed, be destroyed. Every embargo of darkness, in the name of Jesus, please bring them out by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Abarante Kete Proskotu Palakata. Never the same, never the same, never the same. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying. Look at me, please. There are people I'm seeing in the spirit who have this embargo of this favor. Now you are moving physically, you may not see it, but there is an embargo on you. People and things that should help you just ignore you as if you are not there. I don't know who belongs to that category, but right now, in the name of Jesus, may that power come upon you now. I declare that that yoke, that embargo of this favor upon your life is broken now. It's broken now. It's broken now. It's broken now. It's broken. Now. I'm still seeing fire fall on people. I'm still seeing fire fall on people. The Lord is, is focusing on families right now. I'm saying it again. Every family that has not advanced, you have done the best you know to do. Educated but not advancing. Exposed but not advancing. Surrounded by helpers but not advancing. At the count of three, as to shout that name, I decree and declare everything sitting on the advancement of your family. It must be cleared out of the way. Are you ready? Don't be tired. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Those barriers be broken. Help them please, my God. Help that gentleman. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Please help the ushers. Whether you are an usher or not, they are overwhelmed. If someone is near you, just help to bring them out. Please help the ushers. In the marvelous name of Jesus. Listen to me. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. There are families that have not experienced ease. The things that should be easy. There are others for 10 years they are trying to build one house. 10 years. And it's not like they are lazy. Everything they try to do, it looks like there is no way. I am praying for you. There's a reason why I ask you to bring them out. Please help us. And ministering to them. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of retrogression that is sitting on anyone. Right now I command that spirit. In the name of Jesus. Let them go now. 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 Bring them out. Let them go now. Please bring them out. Now watch this. There was a woman in the Bible that all the men in their life her life were dying mysteriously. She was called the widow at Nahum. 
The husband that she had mysteriously died. The last son that represented her future also died. And while they were taking him out of the gate, Jesus stopped them and said, No, it's not over. What in the world is happening here? The man who would grant us strength and security and fortification. There is this, this lady waving her hands. That one. I'm seeing oil coming on your head, my dear. Right now I decree and declare. Be released now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now be released by the power of the Holy Spirit. Who is like him, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne? Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Holy Ghost is still telling me to rebuke the spirit of death. You see, you see me keep saying this thing. This embargo of the grave, in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is anyone here appointed to death, that there is an embargo of death, that you will not see the end of the year. All your family members are pakatoshkata. Some of you have seen it in dreams. You lie down to sleep and the semblance of death comes by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, may the fire of God rest upon you and bring an end to the orchestrations of death. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be delivered from the sword, be delivered from accidents, be delivered from terrorism. In Joseph. Who is Joseph? I'm hearing a name Joseph. Joseph. This is what I'm hearing. I presume there may be many people with that name. Joseph. Where are you from? Where are you from? Please don't just come out at random or we'll pray. I can imagine how many Josephs will come out. Now, please hear me. Where are you from, my friend? Huh? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of his life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't come out at random, man, so that we can walk with time. There are two of you here that have the call of God on your life. Fire is coming on you now. The Lord is saying it's a new dimension in ministry. Among the Josephs that are here, in the name of Jesus Christ, new level, new level, new dimension. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you are drinking of a very strong wine. Parakatosh Katibalakata. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. New grace. Kadish Kadibala. Keprokatosh Katibarakatosh Katibandakata. Keproskotosh Shapirakos Katibandakata. In the name of Jesus Christ. Parukatosh Katibarakatibalakosia. Kogin State. Who is Halima? I'm hearing the name Halima. It's like you are from Kogi State. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you. For all of you that. What's your name? Where are you from? Come, stand here. You are in Abuja here. I want. What do you do? I want to pray for you because God is bringing deliverance to your family. I don't know you. I don't know anything about you, but I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare that it is a new season right now. Who is innocent? Innocent. I'm hearing the name innocent. Your name is innocent. 
no sense. Innocent. Who is innocent? The man I'm seeing is, a, is I'm, I don't know if you're an old man, but I'm seeing gray hair. The innocent I'm seeing. You are wearing like a, is it light green or something? Satan? Light green. Is there someone like that? Innocent. Your life is about to change. Where is he? Come. Oh, he said, an old man, come. Please, let, let me, I'll, I'll pray for all of you, but where is he coming from? Outside? Are you his wife? Give her the mic. Huh? Where was he? His name is Innocent. Yes, You're welcome, sir. Please come. <laughs> sir, I want to pray for you. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I want you to share up. God is going to turn your life around in a way that will support. No, you don't have to kneel. Please stand. I don't know you. You see, this thing is not like it's a it's human calculation. You can't calculate these kinds of things. It, it has to be of the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Who works in a bank here? Bank? Anyone? I'm seeing, I just saw the name UBA. UBA. This is what I just saw. UBA. That should be the name of a bank. Is there anyone like that? Not, not just in front here. UBA. Oh. UBA. The Lord is bringing. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing a gentleman. It's not a lady I'm seeing, but then I will pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be increase for you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural increase. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Baba, let me pray for you and your dear wife, and then I'll pray for everyone. Innocent too, sir. Okay, I'll pray for you. Um, there is someone here, don't be embarrassed. I'm not calling him bad, but your brother has been stealing. Like, there's the spirit of theft. The house is tired, everybody is tired. God wants to deliver him now. Who is that person? This boy has been stealing. There is, if you hide anything anywhere, it's like word of knowledge. Where, who is that, please? Please don't come out here if we're, we're serious. Don't. No, don't stop them. If, um, if, if you are the one, don't worry. God will touch you. We're going to make... Um, um, please, let's just be sure that we're... I'm not saying you suspect he's a thief or a car. He's somebody that everybody, including him, you know that they are stealing. This thing is a spirit. Can I tell you this? Once people cannot control certain things, even though they know it's wrong, it's a spirit. Are we together now? You see how these evil spirits work? You hide money, they will steal it. They come out of prison, they go back again. I know a gentleman years ago, who his mother cursed him, that until rats stop stealing, he will not stop stealing. Yes, sir. When, when he gets to the prison, they don't even ask him a question, he will just go in because they already know that this guy is there. They come and bail him out. You mean all these people? Are you the ones who have... Is it that it's a challenge? You, hold on, please. Let's, let's, time is against us, so we have to make sure we, our efforts are not wasted. Praise God. Is it that you are the one who is struggling with it? No problem. There's, huh? All of you, your brothers. They steal. Now, you look at this, ladies and gentlemen. How in the world do you survive with these kinds of things? Now, it does not always mean that the people are bad. It's a spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And for some of you, let me tell you this. I don't mean to scare you. But it is happening to more than one or two or three people in your family. Chances are that you may also be a victim of it. Because it's a pattern. Like, don't be embarrassed. 
but two of you now as i'm speaking the power of god is going to come on you and you'll be delivered from this same thing now even before your loved ones just believe i'm a man of god i'm like a, a doctor once you lie down on the bed of surgery you don't tell the doctor what to do you just lie down and let them operate you once they are done they will ask you to come up two of you the power of god is called, i just saw that light because some of you it, it, these things they are patterns help them you see it now I'm not saying you are thieves. I'm just saying this is a spirit. Just because it caught someone first does not mean it will leave the rest. It will attempt everybody in that family. There are two people. There's one more. This is one. One of you, the power of God is coming on you. You have to be free from this demonic thing. If not, you will be surprised that one day you will just be a victim of this thing and it will embarrass you somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, why are they here again, please? Any other person, even if is the person stealing himself, just stay back and release your faith right there. This is a whole family, or you are coming from outside. Okay, lift your hands, all of you who are in front here. Please, I like you to believe. Don't condemn your brothers. Don't condemn anyone. Daddy, let me prophesy to you first. Please look at me, sir. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm only speaking because I looked at you and the next thing I saw a coffin. And the Lord is saying I should rebuke it. In the name of Jesus, I don't know whether there is currently an infirmity or whatever it is. But may the Lord himself preserve you. The fullness of your days you will fulfill. In the name of Jesus. And for everyone here, for the various reasons why you came out, including loved ones who are challenged in this area, with any and all forms of addiction i don't this fair lady i keep seeing light all over you i'm seeing the power of god coming on you this lady in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit something is leaving you i'm seeing that miracle happening to you in the name of jesus be free now not just for you but for your entire family now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god now everyone who is here wherever your loved ones are who are are victims of this this theft and whatever it is i declare their deliverance now i declare their deliverance now and please hear me let me use this one and pray for anyone here who is under any kind of yoke of addiction different kinds of addiction for you or for your family members in the name that is above all names that power of addiction that seems to have control over you let it be broken now 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 in the name of jesus christ and for everyone here you will go back and you will return with testimonies in jesus name i pray god bless you please return rejoicing very quickly justina oh dear our time i'm hearing the name justina who is justina justina where are you coming from no state of huh? i want to pray for you you believe in the power of god look at me your family has been under siege God wants to bring marvelous deliverance to your family. Lord Jesus, I'm praying. What God says to one, He's saying to everybody. In the name of Jesus, over this family, the power of God is coming on you now. Let there be deliverance now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that represents an oppression over this family, it comes to an end in Jesus' name. You too, Justina. Can I pray for you? In the name of, what do you do? What, what do you mean construction? Where are you from? I'm from Kaduna State. What is the name of the this this Chinese company? CC. The Lord is going to connect you to somebody in that place. Look at me. Believe what I'm telling you. 
and go to your secret place and write this name down Sahara just write it Sahara go and write it down a time will come somebody a lady from that place God is going to connect you to her and they will lift you Sahara that's the name I'm seeing on you just go and write it down this this is like this is this is an a company that it looks like they're into gas oil and gas go and write it down believe what i'm telling you you just go and write it sahara go and write the name in the name of jesus christ may the lord change your life may the lord turn your life around in jesus name all of you the same thing let me pray for you in the name of jesus one of you has severe stomach pain like it comes who is that person severe stomach pain place your hand there um what i'm seeing is not good but in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare every planting that is not of the lord now let it go in the name of jesus out of her now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare let her be delivered right now and for all of you who are here standing whether for yourselves or your family members in jesus name let there be liberty now in jesus name the power of god is touching you please don't come out at random why are they here dementia you or your dad where where is he you too dementia you for your dad brother and sister father and sister it's okay i'm going to pray for you there is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness in the atmosphere oh come lay down the burden you have carried for in the sanctuary now listen i'm going to raise that song one more time and the power of god will begin to move just for you people that's the instruction i'm receiving that's why i raise the song there is a sting anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness my god the lord is bringing deliverance now oh come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary Come lay down the burdens you for in the sanctuary. Right now I declare, let that fire move across in the name of Jesus upon every one of you you are standing for yourself you are standing for your loved ones at the count of three may that fire rest on you right now one get ready two three take that fire now 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 in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god take that fire now for you and for your loved ones be delivered be set free in the name of jesus now hear me two of you who came out to stand here you are receiving an anointing is the call of god upon your life two of you two of you right now i don't know where you are i release that anointing right now two of you take that fire take that fire take that fire in the name of jesus christ father all those who have suffered from bipolar dementia and every other related medical condition whether you are here or for your loved ones we rebuke the spirit behind it and we declare be healed now 
be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please return to your seat please everyone rise I want to pray for the sick right now even though um, we're already on with the healing but we can't call everybody case by case if you can't please stand release your faith right now I want to pray for you please stand just lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle please believe that this one the power of God will touch you as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit bring that lady lift your hands fire upon you now Jesus I believe Jesus there is healing in your name as I pray for you please listen I truly believe in the healing ministry I believe in the power of Jesus to heal you are standing for yourself you are standing for your loved ones as I pray do not forbear with anything that is an infirmity whether it's a growth in your body whether it's for someone you can also stand in for your loved ones as I pray all I want you to do is to agree with me with a loud amen and here's what we have to do I want us to be out of here as soon and as fast as possible so please do well to cooperate I'm going to pray for you a simple prayer of faith and I'm going to rebuke that spirit the moment I do that for those who have been under the anointing and those who the power of God will come on, you don't have to bring them out. I want you to check yourself very quickly. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, aside from those who testified at first, I want you very quickly, you can come out either to my left or my right. There will be a few pastors who will check you, just look at you and we'll have one or two uh, testimonies and then we'll pray over the requests. I speak over your life and then we're done. I'm glad that Bishop is here and um, Pastor from the U.S. I'll give them a minute or two to just join faith with me and declare over you. Let's just stand in faith and then when that is done, um, we'll wrap up the service. Now lay your hands please very quickly. He is able more than able. In the name of Jesus Christ, please shout a loud Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I decree and I declare, every spirit that is back of any disease here, any sickness, any infirmity, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command, let God's people go now. Yeah. My God, some of you will be feeling that that fire is just coming upon you, going through your body as I'm praying right now. It's the healing power of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed. Be healed, be restored, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every blood condition here, I declare be healed now. Ulcers, be healed now. Visual impediments, whether total blindness or partial blindness, I declare be healed now. Anyone with deafness, whether on one or both ears, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. <laughs> Cardiovascular challenges, I decree and declare heart palpitations, holes in the heart, every kind of heart infection, in Jesus' name, be healed now. <laughs> High blood pressure, be healed now. Low blood pressure, be healed now. Migraine headaches, be healed now. Epi
epileptic seizures be healed now. Anyone here with the issue of blood be healed now. Pile, I declare be healed now. Inability to sleep, I decree and declare right now you find rest once and for all. If there is anyone having any growth in any part of your body, from your head to your feet, in the name of Jesus, wherever that growth is located, whether as a lump in the breast, as every devil around your abdominal region, right now, that growth disappears in Jesus' name. Disappears in Jesus' name. Disappears in Jesus' name. There is someone, I don't know who you are, but it's like you have something in your, I don't know if it's in your head, but some, some tumor-like infection. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't know who that person is, let there be healing right now. I'm seeing someone's, um, your, your, your knee is like it shifts. It just shifts like this and returns back. I declare, let there be stability right now. Every kind of skeletal challenge from your head to your toe, whether it's your vertebra, whether it's any part of your body, your skeletal system, let there be perfection right now. And for some of you, let there be recreation right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone, your fingers, you can't move them like this. Like I'm moving mine. In Jesus' name, the power of God is coming on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. You will begin to move it. I'm seeing someone, is it a boil or some swelling? Just around your armpit area. Sorry to embarrass you, but in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare, I cause that demonic boil, it goes now. <laughs> now, I, I've prayed this before. God has revealed this to me. I don't know if it was here in Koinonia or in another meeting. A, a woman who is not with child and yet you are lactating. I don't know the name of the medical condition, but you are not with a child and yet you are producing breast milk. I don't know, but in the name of Jesus, I declare, let there be healing right now. <laughs> Let there be healing right now. Now, God is showing me um, someone, you, you have severe tiredness. If you walk for five minutes, you have the tiredness of someone who probably has been running for a long time. You have to look for somewhere to rest. It's like your energy depletes very fast. In Jesus' name, the Lord is doing a miracle in your body. The Lord is doing a miracle in your body. The Lord is doing a miracle in your body. In the name of Jesus. Now, every other condition, whether I mentioned it or not, in Jesus' name, whatever it is that ails you, whatever it is that discomforts you, let there be a miracle for you now. Now, very quickly, please, those who are coming from outside to testify, protocol security, allow them so they can rush and come. I want you to check yourself from the start of the service aside from those who have testified the moment you find out that a miracle has happened for you and you want to testify please check yourself don't be afraid don't be ashamed I want you to leave your seat very quickly and come and stand here people are coming out people are coming out are you seeing what Jesus is doing celebrate them as they come celebrate them as they come celebrate them as they come don't be afraid. Come, run to Jesus. Make sure your request is here while they are coming out. Please, for those coming, let's very quickly, very quickly. And oh, what joy that fills my soul. Something happened. And now I know He touched me. 
carefully to the testimonies and let's glorify Jesus. Yes, sir. Please help us, technical. Okay. Immediately you mentioned altar, the pain disappeared immediately. Altar, how long, my dear? In the name of Jesus, lay your hands there. I declare perfection for you now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please, very quickly. Oh, the lady who was here, she was vomiting. That's it. That's all. Oh, come on. Look at this. I decree and declare perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Wow. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? Yes, please. Please help us with the sound. Is there something wrong? Please. Yes. Swelling in your eyes. And right now what happened? Completely gone. Let's celebrate Jesus. No miracle is big. No miracle is small. Every miracle is a reflection of the power of Jesus. Yes, please. I tried things in the hand for the past three months. Severe pain. But when you mention the pain. Lift it now. Down, she can move the Any pain, my dear? Any pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every other area of your life bound. Let it be released right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Let's celebrate Jesus. Pain in the chest for the past two weeks. She's not been able to bend. But now... You've not been able to bend. Bend down now. Any pain. Any pain. Completely gone. In Jesus' name, you are healed and perfected. Yes, please. Consistent my brain. She had it even while because of the service. Let her talk. I had... When I came in, I thought it was because of hunger. I removed my glasses. Went and got food, but it still didn't go. But the moment we started praying, after I fell under the anointing, it has completely gone. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Praise God. Okay. Yes, sir. I am having this pain on my abdomen since child goes and comes. Pain? Yes. Okay. Check yourself. Any pain? Completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Next person. Last week I came here. I went. I was feeling what I think last year. Yes. So I've taken drugs, different drugs here. So last week when I came, I tried feeling what I think. So I went to this day and I was tested for. Completely. Lay your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus, ulcer, leave her never to return again. And all the effects, the heat around your body, let it go never to return in Jesus' name. Yes, please. You mentioned the case of the main camp. She said she has had the challenge for the past three months. She could not, sometimes she would have to hold her leg. Even the rails, if I have to um, come upstairs or go down, I have to hold the rails. Wow. And then when I sit down to stand up, I have to hold something to stand up. Okay. And right now, check yourself. I'm free. Completely. 
Koinonia, are you celebrating what Jesus is doing here? In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Loss of memory. You mentioned the dementia. Case. You? He was here. He fell under the anointing and first something left him. What happened? Let me hear him. I have a severe loss of memory. for How long? For like four months now. Wow. Yes. Loss I mean, of memory, you mean? Yeah, I, I, I can hardly remember things. It's okay. very severe. But um, today I copied a lot of notes. I immediately called for dementia. I, I ran out. And when you were praying for me, um, the power of God came over me and I saw, felt something like a heat left my No, head. the devil is a liar. How yeah. can a fine young man like this have loss of memory? I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Praise God. There's this growth in my throat that comes out in forms of a daughter. As in, it goes and comes Come over. Come again? In forms of a daughter. A growth on her throat. A growth. Okay. It comes and goes. It's over five years now. And today, I think for the past... Let me just say, for the past one week now, I've been feeling as in this heaviness in my like, as if I'm carrying a load. And, and, and what happened now? And I can't talk very clear, but now I feel relieved. Completely. Feel Place your hand there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that demonic thing leaves you now and forever. In Jesus' name. I want to hear Mama's testimony. Let me hear Mama's testimony. Okay. The Lord, when we came here this morning, she couldn't walk, she couldn't even stand on her own. But Mama could not stand on her feet. She couldn't. But after the administration, she can now. She can she walk? Yes, she can. Mama, try walking. Walk. She, she came here, she couldn't walk, she couldn't stand. Koinonia, are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Even her head, praise the Lord, even her head was very heavy. But that at least now. You can, you can look at this dear woman and know that the devil is wicked. You can see what he's doing. Lay your hands on... She's your mom? Yes. Please lay your hand on her head. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, let there be perfection by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, everything from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet, I bring you life, I bring you perfection. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Three years long in the press disappeared. Completely. Completely. Confirmed by medical Confirmed doctor. by the medical yes, team. Yes, sir. Look at me, my dear. In the name of Jesus, that also means everything that the devil brought. It will follow that lump and live your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now be free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Five right for six years. Now, while we were praying, she just said she felt a sharp pain in her back, and then something like for a six years. Six years. Now the doctors have confirmed there is no mass there. Check yourself. Confirmed by the doctor. The are you seeing this? Six years. Fibroid. Don't cry. Oh my God. Don't cry. Now, many of you may never know what this means. Don't you ever think it's a little miracle? Ask doctors. For six years. Fibroid. The doctor said I couldn't conceive. Oh, they said you couldn't conceive? Yes, I had my baby by miracle. I didn't even know I was two months pregnant already. When I had her, they had to, I had to go through a cesarean myectomy. And then it started growing up again. And I was supposed to actually go back for another surgery. But I've been so scared because the last one was terrible. I, I died. Oh, you, 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 had a, you had a surgery before? Yes. And right now, tonight... Ah. Place your hand there. Let me seal this miracle. It's truly powerful. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Look at this lady now. A medical verdict. You will not be able to have children because of a devil that wants to come and take advantage of her. And you'll be surprised it's because of the prophet and the apostle that is coming to her womb. Satan does not attack anything for itself. He attacks anything for the future that that thing represents. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you. How I prove the or and or. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust. 
please lay your hand let me pray we may not be able to take all these testimonies my goodness we may have to just take one or two more i'm seeing someone holding a crutch there very interesting testimony let's let's shame the devil one more time with that kind of with that testimony and then i may just pray a general prayer because our time is gone please place your hand my dear don't cry he says weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah even the root of david is he able to stand He's, he's able to stand now, but he couldn't walk without the crutch before now. Where? Oh my God. How many years? For three months. What happened to him? Uh, bicycle. He fell on bicycle. He fell from a bike, yes. In Jesus' name, let there be perfection, Baba, by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Let him walk gently. And then you help him. Was his leg broken or something? Has he been treated medically? No, 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 don't force him. Don't put pressure on him at all. We don't fake miracles here. If, he's not, if, he's, if his leg is still paining him, don't punish the man. Just let him. We'll pray for him. In the name that is above all names. Baba, look at me. Tell him whether in whatever language to look at me. I decree and declare. Let there be perfection over your body now. In Jesus' name I pray. God who has started this since you could not stand, I declare perfection for your limbs. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. I pray for you. God bless you, my dear. It is done. Yes. You mentioned uh, the new cases that she has somebody that the pattern has shifted. So she stood in and connected for the person and then she called and the new, uh, the new captain. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. This also means that your loved ones, wherever they are, Whatever God is doing here, may the angel of his presence take it right where they are. And let it also work for them. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. His knee was dislocated 17 years ago. You called him out the other time, laid hands on him, and now he's perfectly healed. Completely. Wrong. Completely. 17 years ago, dislocated. My God. Any pain? Jump. In the name of Jesus Christ perfection for you by the power of the holy spirit yes please you mentioned a case of someone whose hand is not moving very well this is the woman and she's perfectly healed now look at the smile on her face i'm smiling back with you completely you couldn't do this no sir for how long uh actually every morning monday to friday i used to own megaphone that is why my voice is like this for evangelism oh you're a preacher you are an evangelist. Yes, sir. So, Don't be ashamed. That's a very powerful noble. I mean, there, we have armed robbers. We have assassins. For you to be representing Jesus is a... Let me, let me advise you. Do not ever be ashamed of representing Jesus. Are we together now? Yes. So, I noticed that this aunt started training me. And when I came here today, it became severe. I was telling my children, I said, this thing is really serious. And right now? No, nothing. In the name of Jesus. So you can hold that megaphone and preach Jesus. And preach every devil out of every sick body while you preach. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's have two more here. We have to wrap up. Mama yes. had accident and then she broke her hand. Hold that. on. Say amen to everything I'll say now. I command the spirit that is responsible for accidents and untimely death. May it be far from you in Jesus name. According to the scripture that says he keepeth his bones and none is broken. I decree and declare your bones are kept. In the name of Jesus Christ. Job said in six things he will deliver us. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. And he said that you know paraphrasing that no cause will touch you because you have a covenant with the stones that means creation is in covenant with you they will not hurt you in the name of jesus christ not the wind not the water not the elements of nature they will not fight you in jesus name accident so for the past three months she could not be able to lift her hand by mama do what now. you couldn't do before let the devil see you do it accident in the name of jesus perfection for you now in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Difficulty in, the, uh, in breathing. And also, she couldn't see properly, but now she's fine. Oh, dear. Can you imagine that? How are you, my dear? Fine. What's sir. your name? Omotola. Omotola. Yes, May sir. God bless you. 
in the name of Jesus, you will be a great lady in Jesus' name. Apologies, we have to stop right now. Stretch your hands towards everyone who has been healed, believers, and let's just bless them. Um, you can feel free to come and testify by next week. By the way, please listen. Our lines and uh, our, our emails and our social media platforms are open for your testimony all week. It doesn't have to be until Friday before you register or make us know what is happening. The media, you can meet them for direction. You can post your testimony on our social media pages. Use the email and send it to our media department. Let's know that Jesus is doing... Huh? HIV healed from 2019. Another HIV. Gone, checks now. And hepatitis. Uh, actually, um, I school abroad, and last month someone was healed of HIV, so I traveled down here. Oh, just to be here. Remember the testimony. So by faith you travel down, and right now, oh no, this one is a testimony. Goodness. I lost that with hepatitis B. It's also. You, you remember the testimony? It's. That Actually, someone was killed of HIV from what nation? From Vietnam. From now, Vietnam. I also had hepatitis B and it's also negative. Completely now. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I pray for you, my friend, for taking this step of faith to come. I pray for you that not only um, now that you are blessed, may you carry this grace and go back with it. You will go and minister to others and the power of God will touch and heal and deliver them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh dear, we, we may have to stop. My sincere apologies. I bless every one of you. And please do well, um, the media or the doctors, the medical team, you can give them a link that they can register their testimonies. And by next week, please let us know what Jesus has is, is done. You can meet the media department or post it on our social media platforms. Give us permission to let people know and we'll let Jesus know. Do not hide your testimonies. Provided your testimonies do not pose any security concern to you, you can feel free to let us know. We'll let the nations know what Jesus is doing. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you. Please stand, stretch your hands towards here. We're praying. And with our hands lifted up, we will worship our King. And with our hands lifted up, we come before you rejoice. With our hands lifted up to the sky, and the world wonders why. We just tell them we love in our King. Oh, we just tell Please stretch your hands in one minute. I'd like you to begin to declare as I pray. Go ahead and stretch your hands by faith. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. This is a representation of the desire of God's people from across nations, from across territories. We are praying. Lay your hands. Stretch your hands and lay it here by faith. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, agree with me as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare over these requests, every one of these is turned into a testimony. For those who need favor, we release favor. For those who need restoration, we release restoration. For those who need breakthroughs, we release breakthroughs. For those who need encounters, we release encounters. 
For those who need speed, we release speed. For those who need advancement, we release advancement. For those who need connections, we release connections. For those who need mercy, we release mercy. Those who need deliverance, we release deliverance. Those who need prosperity, we release prosperity. Those who need protection, we release protection. Those who need vindication, we release vindication. Those who need vengeance, we release vengeance. And in the name of Jesus, that everything dropped here as a prayer request. By faith, let it be turned now to a testimony. In Jesus' name I pray. Please help me very quickly make welcome a dear man of God. Pastor, Fe yes, please come. God bless you. Thank you. And then you will just speak over your life. Great man of God from the U.S. Just speak over God's people. And then Bishop will come and speak and we're done. God bless you, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you because you are done great and mighty things. And today, Lord, joining my faith with your Father tonight, and all of us together, we are crying out, O God, and we declare that there shall be songs of victory in thee. The shouts of joy and victory resound in the hands of the righteous of the Lord. And I declare in the name of Jesus, you will sing your song of victory. In the name of Jesus, you will return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus, everything the Lord has done will declare perfection to it. In the name of Jesus, you will go from glory to glory. You will go from strength to strength. Lord, we declare from this Wynonia tonight, you will raise an army. An army of healing evangelists. An army of miracle workers. An army of deliverers. An army of saviors shall indeed arise in the name of Jesus. And we declare, O oh God, together peace upon our nation. We declare, O oh God, divine security upon our nation. Thank you, glorious Father. We declare once again for all of these prayer requests, as it is lifted unto you, O oh God, all of them are checked down. Each and every one of the requests, check down. Everybody shout, done. Say it again, done. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Felix Bamirin from the U.S. God bless you. Let's celebrate Bishop Okudili as he comes. Hallelujah. I'm so elated to be here today. You know, this is my first time of coming here. Honestly, I'm blessed. Can we put our hands together for the Lord? Now, I, I wasn't expecting to come and pray, but I had a brief vision while I crossed the gate. Sir, so, I saw an army of angels stationed at that gate. Two things were happening at the same time. Angels were distributing stones of gold. And at the same time, I looked up, I saw red. But it wasn't white, it was golden in color. Suddenly, Zachariah chapter 10 verse 1 came to me. Action of the Lord rain in the days of the later rain. And I will make bright clouds and I will send rain to everyone grass in the field. Now hear this. If you are part of this commission, you have just shifted in dimensions. Now, I am speaking from my office. I would like you to know that this commission has entered into a realm of wealth and abundance. Even if it is sand you are selling, you will be a blessed man. Now lift up your hand towards heaven. Three things I want you to declare. You are going to declare the rain is falling. One, two, go! One, two, three, and so shall it be. We declare your heavens are open. We release the anointing of oral manifestation. Every ancient horn that has limited your manifestation is shattered. 
I think from tomorrow morning, we had they said no, they will say yes. God is suspending protocols to bless you. God will bypass a million to single you up with a unique favor. You will excel. You will excel. You will occupy the seven mountains. I dare pronounce that you are blessed. When next we shall see, you will be counting your testimonies. Somebody said one more time, it is running. God bless you. Please let's honor Bishop. Hallelujah. Very great man of God. Let me wrap it up. Thank you for your patience. And they have declared, I believe in everything they have said. And I believe it will be so in Jesus' name. But then I decree and declare that this week, for you, let it be a week of strange testimonies. The kind of favor you have not seen until now, in the name of Jesus, let it begin to manifest. I connect you by prophecy to your destiny, help us. They will come rushing towards you. And I pray for your spiritual life and your prayer life. Listen to me. We're people who love God passionately. In all our getting and in all our achievements, God must be first and God must be priority. Therefore, every prayer altar that is dead or dying, every word study altar that is dead or dying, every passion that is already fading towards the things of God, let there be restoration now. You will not need to tell people you are a child of God. The anointing and the demonstration of the power of God through your life will speak volumes. In the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me, for all who have traveled from far within and outside this nation to be here, I declare return, may your testimonies arrive before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you for watching. Like our videos, share and subscribe. Thank you.